For hair, it's really about how it changes people's lives. When hair loss occurs, it can be devastating depending on the person. You know, they look older, they feel older, they, um, they feel like something's missing, that they're losing maybe a part of their youth. So if you can help them maintain the hair they have or restore the hair they've lost, then you can really change their lives. My opinions on low-level laser therapy have changed a lot since I first started to learn about how light therapy could affect the skin, let's say 20 years ago when I first got introduced to it. Back when I went to school, there was no class on photomedicine. It did not exist. And I was a big skeptic when it first came out and someone told me, hey, if you're doing hair, you need to be doing light treatments for the scalp. I just didn't understand how that could work. But today we know that photobiomodulation, the use of red light therapy and other wavelengths can have a huge impact on the skin and for sure improving hair growth. We've seen it in the practice thousands and thousands of times over about 20 years. Laser therapy brings something really nice to a hair loss patient. So laser therapy is a hair growth treatment that has absolutely no side effects. So it's exciting to be able to bring that to patients, to be able to give them something that's gonna really work to improve their hair growth. And we don't have to worry at all about any kind of systemic or local side effects whatsoever. It's completely non-chemical. As a physician, if I'm gonna recommend a device to a patient, I wanna make sure that I have the cell number, the phone number, the mobile number of the guy that's running the company. And I wanna be able to talk to him if I have any questions or concerns or if my patients have any questions or concerns. Now here we are, you know, well over 10 years working with Laser Cap Company and it's been a big pleasure working with Mike Raven. I mean, Dr. Raven is brilliant, brilliant inventor and scientist and physician. And he's really keen on listening to us and making the changes that we needed to make in order to get, for example, that turbo laser cap out to the market and out to our patients. It's not just about how many lasers are in the device. It's the quality of the lasers. It's how the laser beams exit from each diode and how they're arranged. The research has been done and we know the mechanism of action. We know those photons of light are absorbed right at the level of the mitochondria, at the cytochrome C oxidase in the electron transport chain. And it basically supercharges that mitochondria and that mitochondria then makes more ATP, which is that energy that those highly metabolic cell populations within the hair follicle need to grow a healthier, thicker, more beautiful looking hair. Patients are often concerned about the cost of treatments and procedures, concerned about, for example, investing in a laser therapy device because it's you know m maybe a, a bigger price tag than they thought that they might want to spend on their hair regrowth treatments. But what we've learned over time is that if you look at the cost of other therapies like medications, which continue to go on and on and on into the future, you could probably spend more on those kinds of therapies than you would on a single purchase of a laser cap, for example. So a laser cap, if you calculate out the cost over time, if you amortize it, if you figure out if you're gonna own this device for 10 or 15 years, divide that by the cost and you can really see that it's a great investment in your hair. I can't personally think of a reason why, if you are a hair restoration physician or you're interested in treating hair loss, that you wouldn't want to at least try low-level laser light therapy uh, in combination or as a standalone treatment with your patients who are struggling with hair loss. 